What's up, what's up, what's up? I got another cashy cash in the building. We got Pro Marine. This is an old school replay. Uh, he's on the Zerg. He's top left. And he is one of the best to ever do it back in the day. So I think he'd be top three player right now if if he um, if he played now and, and played all the time. So uh, definitely, definitely was better than everybody else back in the day. So uh, I don't even think there's a question about that. So he's up against uh, XS Jin, who is Kira uh, Jin. Uh, also goes by math. Um, so we got a, he's on the bottom right and uh, he's Terran. So we got a Terran versus Zerg. Uh, Pro Marines Zerg is sick. All his races are sick. Um, and XS Jin, uh, Jin's Terran versus Zerg is actually really good too. So I'm excited to, to do this replay, this cast. What are they talking about? Okay, lagging, I guess. So it looks like Jin is in a pretty far spot. He's gonna have to go all the way across the map to start attacking, harassing Pro Marine. So it's good for Pro Marine. He's in a good spot. And um, he's gonna be able to kinda, kinda not have to worry about any uh, if it's a quick push it's going to be tougher because when you do a quick push and you build your factories in the middle um you got to bring all your marines and you got to rally them here and, and they got to go this whole distance here so it's, it's a lot harder when you do a terran berserk and you go all out factories in the middle so we'll see what happens here i think that's what Jin's probably going to do that's that's what how they used to play it back in the day Basically go three barracks, um, and then you build two or three quick factories, and you try to just push through as fast as you can. So it looks like Marine is going to be going for, he just went for one creep colony, and then he went for two quick hatcheries. So he is kind of playing a little bit risky, and it's going to pay off for him. And he's not even getting a Zergling, so maybe his Zerglings are done. He's getting one, one hatchery, or one egg of Zerglings, two Zerglings, so... He's gonna use these two guys to scout. He's got his overlord here. So he has scouted this spot. He has scouted the middle. So he likely knows he's not up against a Protoss. So he's probably up against a Terran, which he is. So he's going for another hatchery. He's gonna have three extra hatcheries here. He's got the extra, he's got a fourth one here. Um, Playing it a little bit risky. Here's a here's the factory. So factory is not going to be put in the middle. So so Jin's not playing it too risky. He's going to kind of keep his men in his base and maybe do a, a little bit slower push. I think he's going to get another factory right about now. Going to snipe that ling. Is he going to get the ling? Nope. They're just dancing together. They're dancing. Who's going to dance? And what they, back in the day, they used to, the way the Zerg would play against a, a, a Terran, and this is regular StarCraft, so this is how you, you would want to play against a Terran if you if this is on regular StarCraft, because uh, you don't have to worry about a bunch of Marines and Medics coming, because there are no Medics in uh, in regular StarCraft. So what you usually do is you, you kind of build Sunkens and you kind of push them out, and you make it make the Terran have to take a longer time to push, uh, to kind of push your sunkins and, and um, progress into the Zerg space. So another hatchery down for Pro Marine. So he's got a lair on the way as well. So he's actually pretty big already. Playing it a little bit risky, but I I think he knows he's kind of it that Jin's enough pretty far base he's either here here or here uh, he's gonna scout here just in case and another hatchery down for pro marine so pro marine is really really playing this one um, I guess you can say uh, 
what's the word for it? Uh, kind of on the edge here. And that's what he's he's done in the past. I mean, he, he kind of he pushes his limits a little bit, and he he's so good that he can do that. He's got that that micro where he can he can kind of do that. So he's gonna have some vision here. He's gonna have some vision here. Let's see what let's see what uh, Jin is up to. Still making marines and still he's got his tanks so he's, i think he's going to start pushing with his tanks and he's going to put his tanks on the side right here so they'll be able to, to get a better uh maybe kill about four of these at the same time so good placement i think he's waiting for siege and there's the siege yeah so he's going to be able to shoot this one i think this sunken might have to move up a little bit to get that sunken but he'll move it up right about here the tank and he'll be able to get uh, these two sunken. There's a lot of sunkens back here as well, so it's gonna take him some time to to advance. And it looks like a hive is already, or the queen's nest is already completed, and the hive is on the way. No extra command center for Jin at the moment, so he's kind of playing this one a little bit riskier. He's got a bunker here just in case. Marine's going for a lot of zerglings. But uh, Jin's doing a pretty good job progressing with his tanks. Gonna probably move this tank either a little bit, like right here maybe. A lot of sunk still. I'm gonna get that spore colony to kind of push off the engineering bay here. Jin's, Jin's size only at 91 right now. So not too high. Those are four tanks, five tanks. And they just gotta travel such a far distance. It's got six barracks, no command center. Doesn't have to worry about lurkers, but it looks like he's gonna have to worry about guardians. Cause he got the spire and then the hive is gonna be just about done. And he's gonna have a lot of macro hatcheries here. So and with all these macro hatcheries, he's able to make a bunch more drones and then he can just keep making us uh, uh, sucking colonies and then buy himself enough time to get guardians so he's gonna have a pretty big base so we'll see how we'll see how Jin Jin handles this what is his anti-air gonna be I mean he has a lot of Marines a lot of barracks but Marines don't do that good of a job against guardians especially when there's no medics gonna have to get a couple star ports and get some rates for sure still pumping out of these two factories moving in to get there's he's putting down a command center now so it's size at 120 uh, is there a, looked like there was a, a white uh, mark up there but I guess not still it's still taking him a lot of time to kind of progress in here gonna once he sees the guardians he's gonna have to pull back big army coming though from Jin 130 supply and I think his goal is to try to just push in and go all out and before pro marine can get get his guardians I'm surprised that pro marine isn't using these mutas to kind of kill some of these tanks there we go so he's gonna try to kill some tanks here lost a muta and here comes a full-on attack because he got stim. He stimmed his marines. He's still a decent amount of seconds, so we'll see if he's able to bust through this. Here's the guardians. The guardians are on the way, so these guardians are gonna finish up just in time for pro marine. I want to say these are about nine-minute guardians. They're really fast. Gonna sneak these this tank in to try to get the minerals. Is he gonna get the minerals? Go after the minerals here. The guardians have just finished. Not gonna be able to get any any uh, pro marines minerals here, so it does look like it's gonna be kind of a failed attempt. And Jin's gonna have to pull back, and he's gonna have to get a decent amount of star ports. And here's your star ports. He's been doing a pretty good job though, with uh, still building his base while he was microing and pushing through and clearing out the choke of Pro Marine. Pro Marine has seven hatcheries here. He's got an extra two here, so he's got a total of nine macro hatcheries. He's got guardians. 
I'm guessing he's going to get a Defiler Mount soon. Or he might just go with a ton of Guardians and a bunch of Mutas to take out the Wraiths. Let's see what he's... Yeah, he's making some more Mutas. Let's see what Jin's up to. Jin's supply is at 124, so I mean, he he's still doing pretty good. And he's got an extra Command Center. Pumping from 9 uh, Barracks here. Only has two factories, but not a lot of Hydras, so not a big deal for what Pro Marine his his units are. So kind of has good units, and he might be able to macro his way into a win here. Comes a couple raids. Probably gonna try to snipe out some of uh, Pro Marine's overlords. There's a. Here's the mutas that I'm talking about. I'm guessing he's getting an upgrade now. No upgrade, so. I think Pro Marines is kind of. Kind of just building up his base. And getting more and more gas. Probably going to get all 10 geezers. And get a lot of suckins and spore colonies up here. Here comes the next attack. He's got one upgrade on the rifle. For his marines. No upgrades on his tanks yet. But he does have a good amount of rates. So he's got four rates here. The one thing that's tough when you have rates uh, against guardians is these spore colonies. These spore colonies really take out your rates. So we'll see how he does here. He's just about max. So I mean this is a big attack right here. This is a lot of guardians. I'd say there's about 20 guardians here. Good job cloaking his rates. Taking out a good amount of these guardians here. There's the overlord. He's only got five rates left. And see how quickly the army just goes down with all of these guardians. So many guardians here. He's going to hold position these rates here. Maybe try to snipe out some of these guardians if he can. I think he might get a couple. We get two, three. Snipe out another overlord. And keep progressing on his base. So I think he's gonna progress into vessels. And look at all these look at all these barracks he has. So he's gonna just keep massing up with all these barracks. He only is on two factories here, but um, he may not really need them. Still producing SCVs, he's at 65, so he's right about where he needs to be. I think he's gonna have to start making a couple more um, factories. Because it looks like Marines is going a ton of Guardians here. And he might just spread them out over here, over here, and just go with a huge, huge kind of just massive attack with his Guardians. He's got all his gas, he's using up all his gas as well. So here's a couple, here's the Defiler Mound. Getting, getting a couple extra hatcheries here. And he's bringing some overlords to bring with his guardians, as well as some hydros to snipe out the rates. Looks like we got another attack coming from Jin as he's maxed. Um, he, Jin does have four vessels here. Does he have any vessels up here? He may want to pull back his men because he sees all of these guardians coming out. So we will see. Stimming into these guardians, not really going to be able to do much here. <clears throat> they do have 1-1 one, one upgrade though. Here comes the two, three rates. Not looking good for Jin. A lot and lot of guardians here. Almost like, let's say maybe 30. Gonna irritate him. So he's gonna have to try to micro these or uh, irritated guardians out of here. Doing a good job with the irritate there though. And he's gonna probably keep making vessels. So he'll have about eight or nine vessels by the time Marines army gets here and he might be maxed by the time marine gets there so the only thing is these the little marines are just not going to really be, be able to do too much against this big <clears throat> big army coming and have to siege up his tanks here <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> marine is is maxed so this is going to be do or die for Jin here He's got about, yeah, like, like I said, he's about nine vessels. So, gonna irritate a lot of these guardians with these 
Guardians are really doing work. 10 kills. These Guardians are really, really doing some work on these Marines here. Gonna have to just irritate as many of them as he can because Marine just keeps the pump coming. He's still maxed. I don't know if he's gonna be able. I don't know if Jin's gonna be able to come back from this. There's just too many guardians. Now you got a bunch of hydras. Doesn't have. A, he's not gonna have enough factories to go against all of these hydras. I think that's the GG. So Marine played it pretty well here. A little bit risky early on, but he had a good positioning. So. Able to pull this one off. I'm guessing the GG is going to be called pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. Like I said, Pro Marine is, is one of the best. Uh, he would have been one of the best right now. So I'm going to do another cast of him as well. <coughs> Let's see what we can find. Oh, I think I'm gonna do a Protoss versus Protoss of him and Jin. I think I had one in here. Find it. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. One of these, I know it is. Here we go. Let's see how this one goes. Protoss versus Protoss. I've actually never seen Pro Marines Protoss, and I know that Jin's Protoss is actually really good. His Protoss versus Protoss is really good too. So, and they're both going to be corner spots. So we'll see how they play this out. Marine might go for something crazy. He. He likes to play on the edge, like I said, and middle build maybe. Um, he likes to play, play on the edge. Uh, sometimes he'll go for quick dragoons. He'll go for uh, middle build, I guess was kind of standard back in the day. And it's not going to do that good against um, Kira, aka Jin, when Jin's just building the. Oh, Jin's going to be going for an extra nexus here, so this is. This is going to be. It's going to hurt. This is gonna hurt uh, a, a Jin here, so. Oh, he's, I think he saw that he was up against a Protoss and he he decided not to uh, get the extra Nexus here. So, smart move there by Jin. Two gateways here. Third one I think is gonna be coming. And Jin's, Jin's gonna get scouted by Marine really soon. A Forge on the way. We'll see what We'll see what Pro Marine does here. He's got the Marine in here to see if he's gonna try to harass a little bit or if he's just gonna start building building a pylon. This is a tough position to do a mid build. Jin is in such a far position, all the way on the other side of the map. So it's gonna be tough. We'll see how we'll see what we'll see what Pro Marine does. He might just go for some some pro pro bashing. Um and he's going to have to get a, a pylon in his base. There we go. Because he's, he's going to be a little bit worried about the counter from Jin. So a pylon up there. Got two zealots coming in. But I think two zealots are already finished. A third one's just about finished for Jin. So it's going to be tough for him to, to pro bash. So we'll see what he does here. Might micro a little bit by himself some time. Cannon... Pylon coming here, so this might be bad news for Pro Marine. You may not see that. Got one. Hasn't gotten any. Gonna get one probe right there. Made a move. Made made Jin move some of his probes to this side. Gonna get a cannon here just in case for the counter. This is not good though, right here. But I don't see a forge for. Yeah, I don't see a forge for Jin. To lose that zealot, but he did get one kill, so he is he's gotten two kills with his zealots. 
see if this gets spotted out. Got the extra Nexus now. Let's see if he goes for... No, so he's not going to go for a triple at the moment. Going to sneak this guy in here. Going to get another two. That's four total. Okay, four total um, probes that, that Pro Marine got here. So that's going to definitely slow down Jin. And here's two Kenneths. This is going to be bad. Bad news bears right here. Where's his forge at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Bad news bears there. Let's see if... See if this gets scouted out. He might find it just in time. He is going to see this just in time. Uh-oh. He might have to move. Let's see what he does here. There's a lot of zealots. 12 zealots. Gonna have to, he might have to stack his probes against this. He's going to lose this base, I think. Jin is sending all of his zealots here to try to keep this cannon rush going. It's not looking good for Pro Marine here. Gonna take out that cannon. Gonna try and take out this cannon. Got two more over here. Gonna have to go with the stack attack here. Stack attack. Gonna take out. Got a lot of zealots here. They're gonna be taking out a lot of the probes. But these stack probes are doing a good job. Here comes another cannon. It's going to finish up. Two cannons are going to finish up. He's going to have to use his probes to try to get rid of these two cannons. Three, four more cannons on the way. Doing some more stacking. Try to kill these. Trying to kill these cannons here. This is tough. Got another cannon finishing up here. He does have a triple nexus. So if he does survive this here. He will have a triple nexus, so he will be able to kind of rebuild up quickly. So I think he will be okay here. Sending a couple more probes to finish off this cannon. This one's almost done. Got a couple zealots that are going to try and kill this cannon. And I think he needs to just build a couple of... I think Pro Marine needs to build a cannon in his base. Having a hard time with this cannon rush here. Hard time with this cannon rush. Another cannon is finishing here. Might have to stack against this one. Maybe not. So I think he's going to survive this. He will survive this. So it's almost done as well. But I think it's going to be taken down real quick. Yeah. So he's making probes. I think that Jin's going to actually try and take this middle. He's going to attack this middle base. Because all of these zealots keep going back. Getting sent back. And this pro might... Doesn't get scouted out. Could be bad news. How many... Let's see. Sending in more and more zealots. This is a lot of zealots coming in from... From Jin here. And he's still trying to do this cannon... Uh, cannon Rush is going to be pumping Zealots out of this gateway. That's a proxy gateway here. This is going to be tough for Pro Marine. He's going to have to stack against these cannons. I think he's going to be able to handle it, but we'll see. And he needs to take out this cannon before it finishes, and he will take it out. So he is going to be able to survive this. This cannon almost going down, but I think... It is going to go down, but that Zealot will die. Another Zealot coming in is going to do some some harass action. We'll see if Pro Marine sees this. I don't think he sees this Zealot on here, in here. Two more cannons coming over here. Two Zealots sitting over here of uh, Pro Marine. So the Zealot is doing some work. Two kills. It's going to have probably three kills, maybe four. Almost had four kills. Going to survive this. And I think that... I think that Jin might have uh, more cannons spawning. This is just a tough, it just keeps coming. This stupid little probe, he needs to kill this probe. He keeps making more and more cannons. And the one thing about where Jin's at right now is that Pro Marine has a triple nexus and Jin doesn't have any extra nexus. So I would almost say, did I lose vision here or something? Okay. I would almost want to say that um, 
I think Pearl Marine is a, a little bit, he's gonna be ahead in the economy, but it looks like um, Jin has more units. Is a probe down here? No, it's a, it's a pylon. So I think Pearl Marine's gonna have to just build up his base really quickly. He needs to get a cyber. And then he might just go with an all out mass, so we'll see. He did save his middle proxy base, and he's still pumping from there. He's got about five, can uh, five gateways, making another three, four gateways in his base. Let's see if he gets Dragoon range. He does have a lot of, yeah, getting Dragoon range, he does have a lot of gas. So he can, he can probably get upgrades, or he can go with a couple robotics. So we'll see what he goes and progresses to. Let's again, an attack coming down the middle. This Pro Marine is just going to let this one go right here. He might just let this middle base go. Pro Marine trying to kind of get a choke. And it looks like Jin backed off. So this is, this is a pretty intense game here. Pretty, pretty intense game. And... Uh, Kira has an extra Nexus. He's getting Dragoon range. It looks like he's going to go for an all-out mass here. Again, this is regular StarCraft, so they don't really have to worry about DTs. But you do still have to worry about drops. Marine has some goons. He's got five Dragoons, six Dragoons, so does have a pretty good mass. He's at 130 supply versus 120 from Jin. Here comes the Zealot scouting. He's going to see if there's any drops coming. Not probably going to see. I don't think he's going to be able to get any information there. No information there. The Dragoons, nice placement on his Dragoons here. Kind of getting a little defensive um, macro action there. Just pumping lots and lots of Dragoons. He's got five gateways and another five gateways. So ten gateways is making another th two more. And he's got these two. One of them is unpowered at the moment. So he's pumping for about 12 gateways. And it looks like Jin is... I'm going to say Jin is pretty far behind. He's only at 140 supply versus Pro Marines. Supply is at 180. He's almost max. So he's... He might go for the attack here. The one thing that the one thing that Jin does have is he's got a possible drop that he might be able to get. Let's see how this micro happens in the middle big battle coming. No upgrades for either side. Not much micro. There's a lot of zealots here for Jin. It does look like Jin's winning this. Uh, yeah, it does look like Jin is winning this, so I think that Pro Marine's gonna have to uh, to fall back here. Not gonna be able to, to handle this. Even though he had a bigger supply, I think that Jin had more men, and with the Zealots, uh, he had a better uh, unit combination there. Still, pretty a lot of gateways from Pro Marine, so I think he will be fine for this attack. Getting an upgrade, this upgrade's almost done. So, Jin's gonna attack right now. But it does look like there's a lot of gateways. Is he gonna, Jin should be getting a drop pretty soon versus Pro Marine, who is just going for a ton of gateways. Not even getting Zealot speed. I don't even see a Citadel that's done yet. Just going for all out Dragoons and a few Zealots. Huge mass coming from him. And that doesn't really have much defense either for any drops. So I think a drop might end it for him if he if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't get any defense for it. He's getting a couple more pylons, but no cannons. Where's his citadel? I, I just don't see it. Not even worrying about getting any drops. Just all out massing here. He's got one upgrade, and it looks like. Jin is gonna have to. Is Jin? I mean, Jin is is going with a, a choke right now because he is up against a big mass here. This is a huge mass 
fully maxed pro marine versus 140 supply from Jin. So this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for Jin here to, to survive this. He does have he does have his own choke and he's building a lot of cannons. He's gonna have to build more cannons than that though. And the one upgrade that Marine does have is gonna be huge here. Not that many gateways for Jin. He's at 140 supply versus a maxed Pro Marine. I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold this off. This is a lot of men coming in here. There's a Citadel of a Dune. And Pro Marine is just massing like a beast here. That that triple nexus is really paying off for Pro Marine here. I don't know why Jin is just getting a bunch of shuttles. He's gonna have to try to maybe build some more cannons in his base because this is a lot, a lot of dragoons here. A lot of dragoons. Still fully maxed. Jin gonna try to just. I don't know if Jin's gonna be able to hold this off. This is gonna be close. Needs to, Jin needs to build a ton of just cannons. I don't think he's gonna be able to hold this one off. Even though with the, the distance, Pro Marine just has way too many gateways. Way too many gateways. I think that's the GG. There it is. So good games there. Good games by Pro Marine. I mean, he just shows that he's the best player out there. Back in the day, that is. So, good games. I'll see you later.